if I want to have good forum discussions, create small groups. I call this a cardinal rule. If you want to have successful forum assignments, and here's why. Let's say you have a class of, of 20 students. I'm in that class. When I go onto the discussion board, I've got 19 other students who are posting to that board. The classic assignment is to respond to a prompt and then to reply to two other students. So that means everybody's posting three posts. Three times 19 means that when I go to that discussion board, I'm probably going to see 57 other posts that I have not posted. That's an overwhelming number of posts. If what we want to do is to engage students in these discussions, then what I've actually done right there is I've disengaged them. For a student, you can just imagine that them thinking they expect me to read that. Students will feel that they're invisible in this huge crowd of posts. And so that's when they start to play the phrase to just put down anything in their post. What happens then is the students who are actually engaging, they read their classmates' work and they think, well, that's what students do in this class. I'm not going to invest myself. And so you get everyone disengaged. If I've got groups of five, I've got four other students, now I've only got to read 12 other posts. That's going to really engage me. I'm going to like to know what my other students are talking about, what their ideas are. So there was a certain comfort that they built with each other. So absolutely, the first cardinal rule is small groups. 